Oshio! Now we're doing part three. Now we gotta consider what we're reading. Alright. People cannot conceive the truth of God's word. And, you know, but the thing is, there's this inside of us, um, each one of us, whether, we'll, you know, uh, whether you will uh, admit it to somebody else, but to yourself, each person has that thought uh, about where do we go after this life. And, and, you know, like I said, you have those who think, well, I'm a Christian or, or I'm just a good person. You know, God ain't going to send good people. I mean, he, you know, he's just not, that's not my Jesus. Well, your Jesus might not be that way because that's how you created your God. That, that's your God that you created in your image. Not God creating man in God's image, but you created God, a God, in your image. Ooh, does that hurt a little? I hope it does because it's the truth. Truth will always hurt. But it doesn't matter what you do with that truth. Okay, let's go on. Alright. Now, everyone hears this, but they never, never hear it. They hear it over and over and over and over. They hear it on news. People throw up these scriptures on... Uh, boards and stuff at ball games and stuff and they have no real idea what it means and but they don't break it down to think about it like here for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life for God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. And if you hear that might be saved, that means that they can be saved, but there's a kind of condition. It has to do from the heart, believing from the heart. That's where it starts. Not saying, oh, okay, uh, confess them and, and believe them. Yeah, yes, I, I believe he was the son of God. Uh, uh, I, I believe that he's Jesus and, you know, and that he died on the cross. And, and I heard that he died for me, so I, I'm saved. No, that don't save you. But you got to read. Okay. He that believeth on him, on Jesus, is not condemned. But, there's that but, he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Oh, that, that, that eliminates uh, uh, every road, uh, uh, you know, leads you to heaven. There's all roads, all paths, and all this. Think about it. Okay, he says, uh, and this is the condemnation. Listen. Listen to this part. A lot of people miss this. They'll read certain parts and, and bypass others. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world and men loved darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil for everyone that doeth evil hateth the light neither cometh to the light lest his deeds should be reproved but he that doeth truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest made known revealed that they are wrought in God. Alright. I want you to think about that. I mean, it's self-explanatory. So, your ways, 
if you're hating the light and hating the truth, you're, you're, you, you know, where does that leave you? What did Jesus say about it? Think about it. We're in need of salvation. We're, you know, these days we need Jesus. Not all this hoogie bougie stuff that they're talking on the news and here and there and, and what have you is an answer. Only Jesus Christ is the answer. So the question is, what are you going to do with this little bit of info that you can sit there and pick up and read for yourself? And, you know, and, and not listen to this, all roads lead to heaven or I'm just a good person. You're condemned by your actions. Look at the commandments. You know, and he said not to steal. You know, not to bow down before any other gods. Not to commit adultery. Not to covet. You know, I mean, read the, the commandments. Alright, the question is, does that alone also condemn you? What are you doing? Are you making excuses? Think about it. Shalom. And this is the uh, end of... Uh, this part of the, this little mini, mini series, okay? Something for you to think about. I uh, will do more later. God bless you. Shalom and ha